Saturday, April 11, 2009. Today, several people gathered in downtown Chicago's financial district to protest against bank bailouts and demand the nationalization of large corporations. The bondholders need a haircut, the shareholders need a haircut, and we need banks that work for the people that are carefully regulated to have the adequate capital that this doesn't happen again. They're way too big. Too big to fail is too big, big to, to exist. exist. Yes. Yep. They need to get small. In fact, we see that a lot of corporations are too big to fail. It's not just the banks. We think that nationalization is already part of the agenda. Get the FDIC involved. Reorganize the banks and decentralize. We want them smaller. That's our message. Let's go on with our march. We've got a list so we can stay in touch with you. I'm so glad you're here. A new way forward. We are part of a new way forward. Thank you all for coming out. The march was held on a Saturday, so the streets of the financial district were mostly empty, except for the small group of protesters. Send them to jail. What is what, what is the crime being committed by being too big? Can you explain the theory behind too big to fail? Send too them to big jail? means you control too much. It needs to be put in the hands of local bankers. I keep my money in a local bank. Keep the money in your community. They're more they're, they outreach to the local people better. So you put everything in, in Wall Street banks. You know who they take care of? Wall Street. That's the only people they take care of. All right. I, I want to make sure that I that I understand then controlling too much is should be illegal. As far as a corporate interest goes, yes, exactly. I asked some of the participants what they thought of President Obama's policies and what they'd like to see him do differently. Yeah, I'm, I'm still willing to give him a chance. I'm afraid he might be a little bit too centrist at this point. I think he could be moving a little more aggressively uh, towards uh, taking control, uh, being more overt about taking control of the banks. I mean, it's happening bit by bit, piece by piece. I think that that's the reality, um, but he's not speaking in, in those terms, or his administration isn't speaking in those terms. So the fact that Barack Obama was given more money by Wall Street banks than John McCain received tends me to, lead to believe that uh, maybe there's a little hanky-panky going on there, between a little collusion between the Democrats and Wall Street. The Tea Party movement also wants to end the bailouts. So I asked if any of these protesters plan to attend the Chicago Tea Party scheduled for Wednesday, April 15th. Is anybody here going to be attending the tea parties? No. Tea parties, anybody? No. Why not? What tea parties? Because all that is they is a bunch of Republicans Republican that want to return based, five years uh, ago. Movement. Okay, so, but, but you guys seem to have some things in common, though. <laughs> we are a nonpartisan movement. And they are not? No, this is a, that's a Republican-sponsored event. They don't want any kind of help to the people. We do want help to they the people. They want to blame this we on We want to stop socializing the corporate elite. That's a very different sort of agenda. That, we do not want... You're calling for want, nationalization. Some people are going to confuse that with socialism. How do you square that? Okay, you can you can use another word. If you don't like nationalize, you can call it like receivership. Receivership for insolvent banks. There you go. Why not take this message over to the Tea Parties and 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 give them the benefit of it too? Again, they want to stop the the bailouts too. So why ignore them? Well, I'll tell you something. I was passing out flyers Thursday in front of the Lombard Public Library, and I had about a 20-minute discussion with a dyed-in-the-wool DuPage County Republican, Rush Limbaugh, listening. And you know what? Those people are totally brainwashed. It's a waste of your time, it's a waste of your energy, it's a waste of your breath to try and convert these people. And you think you that are that's not, all the Tea Party you is, are, just diehard Republicans? Yes. They, what, they, what the Tea Party wants is to blame this entire mess on stupid people that took subprime loans out. I mean, this Centelli that's on CNBC, that's his biggest complaint, is that we don't want to have... You know, we, we don't want to be paying for these people that took stupid loans out. They don't want any any accountability by the predatory lenders that that forced that talked a lot of these people. I mean, I remember the first time I bought a car. 
didn't matter how much money I made. All it was is, here's the payment every month. This is what you can afford. This is all you have to do. I mean, and you look great behind the wheel of that Camaro. And that's pre- I mean, that's predatory. And that's I'm sorry, but that yeah, you're you're trying they, to they sw- you're, you. <laughs> you're trying to sway people by not telling them the truth. You're trying to keep them keep them focused on something. That, look, guess how good you're going to look in that car, man. You're going to look really good in that car. Not that the car is a good car; it's going to re- be a reliable car that you're going to be able to count on. It's just imagine how lo- you're going to look, and that's what America's all about: what it looks like. You package anything up in a bright, shiny package, and Americans jump for it at the drop of a hat. All right, now I'm going to play devil's advocate. Okay. The, uh, the tea partiers might say, what about personal responsibility? That's America, too. You have the right not to buy that car. Say I, no. I understand personal responsibility. That's that's I, I, I understand that. But you de- got to understand the people that you're dealing with that most took out some of these subprime loans and stuff. There are people that weren't allowed a good education system to educate themselves, to make themselves aware of the issues and what needed to be done economically. They're, they're a typical American, which a typical American is not a good citizen, they're a good consumer. And that's what America breeds, is good consumers. We don't, we don't breed good citizens. And that's what democracy and America is supposed to be about. Okay? That's, that's my opinion. In Chicago, this is Andrew Marcus.